In this tutorial, we're going to take this Photoshop file and transform it into a wonderful commercial ad. Let's see. So right here in our After Effect, we've imported all the Photoshop files as you can see over here. These settings, we're working at the width of 1280 by 720 at the 24 rate frame rate at the duration of 4 seconds. We're going to limit uh, the commercials to 4 seconds. So before we do that, let's zoom into our, uh, our panel. We have, as you can see, right, these are all the files that we imported from Photoshop. But before then, we have to transform all the layers into 3D. So let's do that by clicking all the 3D over here. We also need to add some blur to all of them. So let's select all the layers here. And let's apply the blur to it. So now let's exit out here. So as you can see, we have a lot of layers over here, but we need to do some house cleaning over here. First of all, let's let's start with the background. So let's uh, hide all the layers that we have over here. Let's hide all the layers so that we are only left with the background. Okay. So as you can see over here, we have our background. Let's Let's see what all the layers that are contained in the background. So let's double click here. So we have our smoke layer. We have our gradient and the stadium behind. So let's go back to our main comp, which is the discovery bank. We also have uh, the EPL logo right in the middle. Let's show it over here. We have it over here, as you can see over here. So let's start with that. Let's start anim animating that portion of the logo. So Let's do that by using the, we're going to use two uh, transform elements, specifically the, the scale and the opacity transform. So let's see it over here. We have it over here, the opacity and the scale. So we have them selected. Let's apply the keyframe to it over here. We're going to use 10 frames over here. So press and hold the shift key and the pitch down to move 10 frames forward. So let's select them and pull them over to the 10 frames. Now let's go back. Let's only select opacity. Let's reduce it to, as currently starting at 45, let's reduce it to zero. So let's move it forward and let's see what we have. Okay. Now with the scale, to let's in, let's bump up the scale to let's say 110 or let's say 125 let's say 125 specifically so let's see what we have okay so this is what we have and also we need to apply some keyframes to the phone elements the phone element currently the phone element as you can see is too big over here what we need to do is that we can uh, what i mean is too big is that uh, we we you can see it's taking the full size of the comp, which we don't, which is the 1280 by uh, 720. We don't want that. So what we need to do is that we need to just dive, delve deep into the phone element, uh, the phone layer, the phone, as you can see, the phone comp, as you over here, see over here. So let's double click it. So this is what we have. What you need to do is that you see this button down here, where I'm pointing the the mouse mouse to it says region of interest so we need to to crop that part so let's click on that let's crop that part so we can crop it let's resize it by going here let's bring it down lastly let's leave some uh, areas around the phone some briefing space around the phone cool so now what we need to do now is to go here up here which says in our comp the composition tab and there's an we have a crop crop comp to region of interest so let's click on it right so this is what we have now so let's go back to our main comp which is the discovery bank so before that let's uh, show the title or the safe area so that we know we're working within 
we are not working off we are working right inside the comp so let's click the titles or uh, action shape area fine so now we need to just move this comp right on top of the EPL symbol before that let's show the keyframes we've already applied to the EPL symbol so let's move forward 10 frames so let's see before then let's see if you can bump or increase currently you you also have the same problem as you can see over here we don't have the 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 phone though we've we've resized or cropped it we still have it showing this the size of the the full size which is the 1280 by uh 720 we don't want that what you need to do is that we select the phone comp and we there's a uh, uh, the button over here let's click that and see we call that uh, let's see what it says over here it says uh, uh, for comp player collapse we call that the collapse transformation so let's click on that okay now we have our as you can see now we have our phone being cropped and sitting right at the center of the of the comp over here so we have our phone layer over here so now let's see if we can let's resize let's bump up the size a bit uh, by holding your shift down and the control down and bump it up a bit now let's move it down yeah right in, in the middle so currently we have it standing at this point which is fine but there's a there's another uh, company to add which is the the main tab if you so let's see let's bring it also right on top of the phone comp let's show it now by clicking this button so that also has the full so we need to crop it so let's double click it and just uh, apply the region of interest let's crop it here Okay, we're good to go now let's zoom in a bit okay so now let's go here and click on crop come to region of interest cool so now let's get back to our main comp which is the discovery bank let's close other tabs that we are not, we are not using okay so now what we need to do is we need to bump it up a bit let's increase a bit let's increase the size a bit let's drop it down okay I think the size is okay now let's zoom out to see okay we're good to go now the so what we did we need to do next is that we need to parent the main tab to the phone comp so we, we click here and drag it parent it to the phone so that whatever uh, features that the, the the parent compass will be automatically be added to the child or which is the the main tab over here which we are talking about so what we need to do is uh, let's also apply the scale and the opacity transform to the phone Let's apply that. Let's apply it scale and opacity. So this also are the same. So let's apply it. Let's drag it 10 frames forward. So let's see. For opacity, let's take it down to zero. We also need to apply the opacity to uh the main tab which is this one so let's copy the key the keyframes over here and just apply it since they are the same let's apply the same opacity to that let's draw down to see we have our opacity over here as you can see for the main tab okay press the u button to only reveal only the opacity of the main tab so now let's see what we can do let's also increase the scale for the phone 
let's increase it to let's see yeah i think it's fine to so this level let's think it's 175 is okay so now let's preview let's preview what we have currently after if i uh, applied all the keyframes let's see what we have okay let's see let's move it back okay which is good now let's apply easy ease to all the keyframes especially the the scale keyframes we don't need uh, to apply easy ease to the opacity we don't need that so let's select it and press f9 on so let's apply easy ease on the keyframes let's select the in keyframes let's go here let's zoom in a bit and pull the handle in so that we have a, a cool ease in an animation okay let's preview what we have currently let's preview what we have currently okay cool that's okay we also need to work on the other players Kevin De Bruyne and Saka okay we want to start all of them at the same time so let's move this here let's also move that so that they start here so we also need to apply the same keyframes the opacity the position and the, what they call it yeah these still key keyframes let's apply that we have the position press and hold shift to reveal your your scale by pressing shift and s and shift press and hold the shift and the t to reveal the opacity so now let's apply the keyframes here let's move let's apply also to this let's move 10 keyframes forward let's pull it over to this point let's move to the end so with this player selected shaka for is it us now yeah so now let's do that too here all you need to do is to let's start with the opacity the opacity i, I said we send it down to zero so let's start let's set it so that they all start at zero so i've done that for the first player we work we're working on so now let's start that on the second player let's move it down to zero oh okay i think i chose the wrong uh, but it's fine we can still work with that we can still work with that it's okay we can still work with that um let's a bit so that we can see a bit uh, let's e bump up the, the the value for the opacity that we can see what we work on it uh what we do next is also to but before we do that i think we need to it's fine okay let's move let's let's work on the position for now uh yeah let's let's work on the position by clicking on the position let's drag it let's drag it to the right so let's see what we have so formally we need to also let's change the the, the 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 scale value for the in let's bump it up a bit let's bump it but yeah i think at this level it's okay so let's reduce it a bit over here out so now let's see what you have cool let's also do that for shaka the last player let's go back to our in let's increase let's bump up the scale a bit let's bump up the scale okay let's move move to the in point let's move up to this point let's apply some opacity let's also move it's to the right let's reduce the scale 
let's see what we have cool but i think we need to move shaka behind uh kevin de Bruyne over here let's do that let's do that let's see so at this point move here at this point let's move in behind let's let's send a bit to the right which is okay so let's see what we got let's preview what we have so far okay now let's select the the keyframes for position and skill and apply easy ease to all of them right click keyframe assistance easy ease let's select the last the 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 in frames the last keyframes let's move here zoom in a bit so let's sorry be careful when you're pulling in the the handles okay now let's go back so let's preview what we've done so far okay so at this point we need to select the the layers for the players together with the phone and the main tab the phone and the main tab we need to do that so that we can move because what we need to we moving forward with our, with our animation what we need to do is to just move it forward a bit we need to uh, scale it down so we need to group all of them in Photoshop. We say group, but in uh, After Effects, we use the word pre-comp. So let's pre-comp them by grouping it. So let's select it. Let's select the, the players. At this point, let's select the players. Shaka, De Bruyne, Rashford, the main tab, and also the phone plus the other element. So right click, pre-comp, then let's say phone, let's rename it to phone plus, plus players. Make sure you select move attributes into the new comp, new into the new comp position. Let's say, okay. So at this point, we also need to convert it so let's before we do that let's uh what you call it we, so we'll be at this point we'll be applying we want to move the position to the left of we want to move the pre-comp what if we just pre-comp to this area so let's apply the position transform to it by pressing key on our keyboard let's apply the position keyboard let's move uh let's say let's apply the left let's apply the position transform sorry let's move 10 keyframes forward by pressing and holding down your shift key and page down on your keyboard. So at this point, but we're missing something over here, which is critical. Let's undo what we've done so far. Before we do that, let's up, let's make it a 3D layer by pressing here. So let's apply our, we can now apply our position transform here. Let's move. 10 keyframes forward. So at this point, we need to move it right to this point. You see that we have a problem over here because the phone has been cut out over here. We don't want that. We want to see the full reflection of the phone. So at this point, what we need to do is that we need to apply the, the, the collapse transformation to it. So let's do that and see if it will be resolved. Cool. So now you see we, we can see the full face of our phone, but we need to also work. Let's let's move the position a bit up by using the Y. So at this point, so now we can now apply our skill too. So let's apply our skill by pressing Shift and Hold S on your keyboard. Let's apply skill over here. Let's move ten frames forward. So at this point, let's try and scale it down. Let's scale it down by pressing and hold shift on your keyboard. 
Let's zoom in a bit. Let's use the position, the X position to move. Because we're moving, you can see our our phone and the other the players are moving out of comp, which you don't want. So let's move it down by using the Y key. Let's see if we can increase the the scale a bit. Let's see if we can increase the scale a bit over here. Let's move it down. Let's scale. Let's let's push reposition all the layers here by moving it in here. Cool. Now let's select all layers and ease, apply easy ease to it. Keyframe assistance, easy ease. Let's select the last keyframes and ease in by pulling the by pulling the, the handles in. Okay. So let's preview what we've done so far. Let's preview again to see what we've done so far. Cool. So at this point, let's see if we can also apply. So let's move our, our our in our timeline. Let's move it forward. At this point, when we get to this point, let's see. I want us to apply a light flare to it. So we will do that by applying. We can do that using uh, the what do you call it the the particle. There's an effect in after after effect that we can do that, but I don't want to prolong this video. So let's just have a, a video that has a light flare and let's apply it to, to it and see what we can and see what uh, we have. Let's see. Let's go to our project panel. Let's go to our footage. There's a, a video. A, a AVI video named light flash. So let's apply it to, to our, uh, our other layers. Let's apply it. Let's you can do that. Let's pull it down here. Okay. So now we need to resize it since it's, it's not the same size as our uh, what do you call a discovery comp. So let's pull it here by pressing and hold shift on your keyboard. And now we need to change the mode of the of the video to let's say add. Let's do that. Okay, so before we do that, uh, even let let's undo what we've done so far. Let's undo what we've done so far because we don't need all the uh, the 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 entire frame of that video. So what you need to do? Let's click, let's double click here. So the video will be revolved over here. Let's zoom in a bit. So let's preview to see what we have. So we don't want this section of the Adobe FX. We don't want that. So from the start, we need the start right up to where everything turns out dark. Let's say right up to this point where everything turns dark. Right up to this point. So we need to just click here and just drag. Let's drag the video. Or the, to this point let's drag it but we want the video to start at this point so let's drag it right to where to this point which is uh, the one seconds 11 frames so let's scale the size of the video by pressing and hold shift key on your your keyboard fine now let's change the mode of the footage to add so now let's preview from this point. Let's see what we have. Press B on your keyboard so that it starts here. So let's see. Let's preview what we have. Let's preview what we have currently. So at this point, we have this light flare being applied. Cool. Which adds a nice effect over here. A nice effect over here. Let's see. Okay, nice. So now let's introduce other other text layers to the other layers. So let's before we do that, let's highlight them to see what we have. We want the, the text layer to start. Where do you want it to start? So let's say at this point. Uh, let's see what we have for our keyframes. So at this point, let's move forward a bit. Let's say at two 
seconds 12 frames let's start here at 2 seconds uh, 12 frames let's let's select all our text layers and right click right now we still have it still in our raw photoshop file but we need to change it to a text layer by right clicking go to create and convert to editable text so that we have all our photoshop files being converted to a text in after effects so cool that's what we have now currently so let's hide the other text so that we just keep focus on get, get access to all text cool but before we do that let's try and move let's select all the text i think there is there's another text that we need to work on which is the the t's and c's let's but we need to decide where we want it to be shown i think we can uh what do you call it let's go into what do you call it the phone plus layers comp and try and move uh rashford up a bit so that it doesn't interfere with the t's and t and c's uh condition the, the, the terms and conditions text layer so let's go back into the phone plus layers comp let's double click so on rush let's click on rashford press u on the keyboard to reveal the keyframes so let's move our timeline to the last keyframe using our y position let's move it up a bit to this point i think we can also scale it down a bit so that it doesn't interfere with the other the the text on the main tab so let's go back to the main comp let's see what we have let's preview yeah i think it's it's fine yeah so at this point let's zoom in let's zoom in so we want our what do you call it the the t's and c's to start showing right at this point so let's reveal it right at this point let's apply some opacity to it but before we do that let's hit the right brackets on your keyboard so that it doesn't show throughout the duration we want it to start here at two, one second 21 frames so let's apply some uh, opacity transform to it by pressing t on our keyboard at the keyframes let's move uh, i think the let's move three frames forward one two three or let's say five two let's say five so let's add so at this point so it starts the opacity start from zero then right up to the end it's it's get to the hundred percent so it starts showing here so let's preview let's let's move our panel down let's preview it again okay so right up to this point it starts it starts revealing itself right at this point i think we can also raise that one up a bit so that it doesn't show yeah at this point it's fine let's zoom in okay So okay, at this point we can start showing our text. Let's reveal all our text. But let's select them all of the text from let's from from the Premier League, from the Premier League to the last the, what do you call it? The get access. Let's move it down so that they they are being revealed behind the phone and the players. Let's select out. Okay. So now let's try let's start applying uh what they call it the position keyframes to the text layers that we have now so let's select them let's start working on the get access first press p on your keyboard but before we want that we want also we don't want them to be showing shown throughout the duration of the the entire frame so we need to move it up a bit we want them to be revealed after here which is that on the on the well, two seconds two frames so let's see so what we need to do is to apply start applying our position keyframe so let's do that by pressing key on our keyboard we move 10 frames forward also apply a, a, a keyframe here let's move back 
So let's move it to the left. Let's move it to the left. Okay. So let's preview what we have so far. Okay. I think uh, we also need to move the phone and the other players a bit to the left. So let's go back to our what do you call it the phone plus players comp make sure you are right on the keyframes so on the position keyframes let's move it let's move let's select let's select the last keyframe and move it a bit right a bit to the left so that we can see uh our text being revealed a bit so let's also scale it down a bit because you, I don't want the, the players to move out outside of the comp. Let's scale it down a bit. Yeah, I think to this point. Yes, perfectly. So let's preview. Let's see. Let's, let's see what we have so far. Let's see what we have so far. let's save let's be saving our artwork uh let me clear the cache okay okay so let's let's crop we need to crop the we need to crop because it you, you can see part of the get access being shown here what you need to do is that we need to crop part of it we only want the the get access to all to start showing at two seconds two frames so let's do that let's want to start here right here right so let's apply easy ease to all the keyframes keyframe assistance easy ease let's ease in here uh so since they are all the same we need to just select them uh, the two layers above let's pull it down here let's copy the keyframes here and paste it to the other text layers so let's press u to reveal it but we need to apply some a bit of cascade to it uh let me realign i think the premier comes before the leak action so let me realign it here so now we need to to apply a cascade on the so the, like, let, let's start let's revolve the keyframes in the cascading order like this cool so let's preview what we've done so far let's preview what we've done so far press space on your keyboard yes you can see there's a problem with our because we copied we copied the same keyframes and just transferred it over to the other text layer so you can see they're all revealing over here but this we can we can sort that one out what you need to do is that we select the first the premium text layer make sure that both the keyframes are selected move your last move the timeline to the last keyframe move it to the last keyframe make sure that both positions are selected then with the handle, let's move it down using the Y position. So we move it down here. We do that to the leg action text layer. Select all the keyframes for the position, move the last keyframes. Using the Y position, move it down to realign the text layers. Cool. So wonderful. We've solved that one out. Let's preview the entire duration of the comp to see what we've done so far. cool so nice so at the end of the tutorial this is what we have 